Hi, my dear art doers. Sometimes my customers are not fully satisfied with their purchases. But since we want to have fully satisfied customers, we offer a return and refund policy. They just have to come back to the shop and ask for a refund. But thankfully, it almost never happens. Now, to decide if my customer should receive a refund, I need a clear refund policy for Southie Wood. It's key to my business because not only will it prevent me from losing money, but it will also help gain trust and loyalty from present and future customers. And we won't decide on a refund policy together because each shop has the one that suits its needs the best, but you can provide your customers a refund, an exchange, or even give them credit to spend in your store. The choice is up to you and to me. Since we don't do exchanges at Stealthy Wood, I'll show you how to refund a customer for a product. Let's check it out right now. All right, here I am on my database on an open POS session. All right, there are a couple of ways we can make a return, but we're going to um, first make a return just with an open POS session. Someone comes into my shop and they say, hey, I bought this chair from you. I really liked it, but sadly it doesn't really um, work with the other um, pieces of furniture that I have in my living room. So I'm gonna need to return this chair. And I say, okay, no problem. They don't have a receipt. That's not an issue. I can still um, process the refund because I know that this chair does come from Stealthy Kia Wood. So I just add the chair to a new order as we would as if they were purchasing the item. But I need to go down and click on this plus and minus button. We add the quantity and we'll see that they're actually returning the item. So I'm taking that chair back and I'm going to give back the amount that it costs. Okay, so then we can proceed with the payment. Okay, we're going to um, give them cash back. Now I want to be sure I um, make this a negative amount. So I'm going to click on the plus and minus again. And then we'll add the amount. So 57.50, exact cash, and then I can validate. Once I validate this, we'll be able to print the receipt um, and it will show that we have that chair back and we gave the customer 57.50 in cash. Okay, you can print this receipt and give it to your customer. Now that's the easiest way to make a return. Um, but if you do a return this way, it of course won't be associated um, with a specific order. So it's nice to keep track of um, what people are purchasing and if that same per person returned an item. All right, so to do that, we're actually, let's go ahead and make a new order. Okay, and then we're gonna validate this. And I'm gonna say that the person who just bought this uh, pedal bin, they come back later, they want to return the item. They say, um, actually, it seems like there was a, a bit of an issue with the pedal, I'm going to um, need to return this. So if I want to return the item from the sales order, I'll just close the session. Okay, not for the day, just to go back to my dashboard. And then I'm gonna click on these three little dots and I'm gonna view my orders. Okay, then I can simply go to the order where they purchased the pedal bin. And of course, I will have the order reference, so I can quickly um, search for the correct order. I can search for that here. Okay, and once we're looking at the order, we can simply click on this button, Return Products. Okay, so once we return the products, we can then process the payment, and it will automatically add the amount that we will give them back. And I can select cash, bank, or aid in. So my payment methods that I have available for that uh, shop. And then we can click on make payment and we'll see that we paid them. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, I should say that we actually are able to, or Odoo actually will make those inventory and product moves for us automatically. So the system will record the fact that we actually received that item back. Okay, so if we go to our inventory application, reporting product moves, and I go to the pedal bin, I'm gonna see that we received the item back from our customer. So it came from uh, a partner location slash customer and it came back to our warehouse slash stock. And I'm gonna be able to see that recorded um, in our inventory app, which is super, super cool. So as you can see, uh, making returns uh, with Odoo POS is so simple and easy. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. And if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.